Okay, I have just had a lovely burrito, uh, and I think I want to watch a cartoon for a little bit. Uh, specifically, I'm going to watch the pilot of Hell of a Boss. Because um, at the end of my Has Been Hotel reaction, a show which I ended up enjoying and engaging with a lot more than I thought I would, uh, people sort of started like, hey, Hell of a Boss, what about Hell of a Boss? Do you want to watch Hell of a Boss? It's the same people, Hell of a Boss, you should watch Hell of a Boss, set in the same universe. Um, but what also started happening at the same time is that people were saying, yeah, Hell of a Boss, definitely watch Hell of a Boss. Except the pilot. Don't watch the pilot. Watch Hell of a Boss. Don't watch the pilot. Maybe skip the pilot. Skip the pilot. The pilot isn't that good. The pilot sucks. Uh, the pilot isn't that great. Like, uh, they, yeah, but they ignore the pilot. Just watch the actual episodes. And that was a mistake on their part. Because uh, if you tell me that, <laughs> I don't know if it's oppositional defiant disorder or whatever it is. But if someone tells me, like, hey, you, sh you should watch the show. But don't. Not that episode. Not those episodes. Not those. Like, I. No, that. I'm just going to. Now I want to. <laughs> Now I want to see what all the fuss is about. Now I want to see why people don't like it so much. Because um, cause now I'm getting curious, right? Um, and I think the reason why people were warning me away from it, uh, one assumes, right, is because they think if I watch the pilot, I'm going to get turned off the show, right? Like, I, I watch the pilot, it sucks, and I kind of go, I don't really want you to watch the, the whole of that show. Um, but that's not really how things work with me. Um, if this pilot sucks... I'm probably going to be more interested to see how the show recovers because clearly it does. It is it's like it's it's well beloved and generally gets a lot of praise and has like a has a lot of fans. So clearly it must have recovered if the pilot wasn't of particularly amazing quality. And then I'm going to be curious about well, how did it recover then? Like, what were the problems? And how did the showrunners manage to dig their way out? Like, I'm watching, um, like, solo leveling right now, which is a show that I I, I don't... It's an, it's it's not an isekai, it's a reverse isekai kind of thing where the fantasy world is coming to the to the human world. And I think that show is kind of scuffed. Like, I think it, it, it has a lot of flaws and problems in it. Like, a lot of the writing is kind of not so great but i find that interesting because that gives me a lot to talk about it gives me a lot to react against so that's the kind of thing that sometimes like i i like a good trash fire you know like a, a trash fire that's that's made with passion that's when you get something interesting to talk about so yeah and this is also going to be the test balloon for the hell of a boss like if i want to react to the whole series ostensibly because it is a youtube show they allow people to do reactions to the show without, you know, getting your copyright uh, your channel copyright struck all to hell. So I'm going to test that out with the pilot. We're going to try the pilot. Uh, we're going to see if I get hit with copyright claims because I did get hit with copyright claims for the Has Been Hotel pilot. Pe peculiarly, weirdly, not copyright claims for the actual pilot itself, like not for the video that is the pilot on YouTube, but for... What seemed to be unlisted videos on the Vivsy Pop YouTube channel, which contained like half finished shots and like like individual scenes from the show, like from from at some point in the production process when she, I guess she uploaded those to her channel to share them or archive them in some way. And then that gets entered into the copyright system and then the copyright system goes, oh, this unlisted video of like an in progress shot. Well, I can see that that shows up in this reaction video. Let's copyright claim that shit. Which is a uh, OK, like that was. That was curious to me, so I want to see if uh, if I can get away with this <laughs> without getting in trouble. It may be a thing where I'm going to have to mute the music or the songs, specifically. I think there are songs later on in the show. I might have to mute those, because music is the kind of thing that YouTube's copyright system, like, zeroes in on real hard. Uh, but I guess we'll see. So, yeah. No timer this time, no counting down, no nothing. Uh, I'm just going to watch the video, and you're going to watch it along with me. Traditional reaction style. Well, isn't that fancy? So let's see why the hell of a boss pilot is a flaming pile of garbage that nobody should watch. All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here. Moxie, now does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Okay. So I'm looking at the animation first and foremost right now, because that's, you know, that's, that, that, that's where my nerd brain lives. It is, yeah... Uh, you can I can see all of the has been hotel 
sort of aesthetic, like the Vivsy Pop aesthetic, Spindle Horse aesthetic, I suppose it is, um, is definitely in there. But there's a different approach to proportionality and and character animation. Like, because that's the thing. Like, once once um, A24 got involved with Hasbin Hotel, like the style of that show sort of sort of um, homogenized down to like more sort of classical, typical. TV animation style, um, like it, it, it lost a little bit of 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 its particular uniqueness from the pilot, um, which you know that's that's a trade off that you make when you're gonna make like a a, a whole series out of it and put it on Amazon. Um, here, I would struggle to articulate it exactly, but there's definitely a different feeling, right? Like, because one of the things we're getting here is. As whoever the hell this guy is, is walking across. Like, we're doing the shape thing, right? Like, this is sort of Toon Boom, like, shape animation. And so I'm trying to figure out which bits are keyframed, because, like, the hand movement there definitely has to be. That can't, they probably couldn't do that with. But then the body is, like, definitely just, like, you can kind of see the way that it moves, right? Like, it's just a flat shape being moved with, like, uh, moving between keyframes. Huh, okay. But the facial animation was the thing... Because that's the thing I, I, I noticed, is that the facial animation was really, really nice. Like, the, the expressiveness of, like, the characters when they're talking, um, and the acting on the characters was also, like, really quite good. Right, like when, whoever this guy is, uh, when he sort of does his thing of like, it's not a sign, it's not anyone's fault, I'm not naming any names. Like, with, like he has like the, the hunched over the table, like the shoulders up, the head down, like sort of solemn, appeasing gesture with the hand, and then like that. <laughs> like that, that big blink, like looking directly at, I forgot who that character's name is immediately also, um, with a little like eye pop, like whoop. Yeah, and this, like this again, that expression change there, I saw that and I was immediately flash animation. Like that's, that is flash animation style. And it's partly because of the line weight um, on the character art here that ha that is a, like a little bit, a little bit odd, like that we have like these very heavy sort of, sort of outlines for some of it, but then like this hairline, whatever the hell this is, has like that slightly thinner, a little bit inconsistent around the. I think that sort of has the, the the aesthetic of like the um the old flash uh pencil tool kind of thing. And then this change right here, like that, where like the vast majority of the face and the body is just copy pasted. And like we have this like limited minimal animation thing, and then the eye going into like this. Like DreamWorks face thing with it, like that to me was is so that's that's so fucking Newgrounds. Something about that is so fucking Newgrounds, um, and I mean that positively. Like that 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 for me is nostalgic. Um, like also here, like you see the shift in line weight that happens, like to the eyebrows and to the outline of the eyes as like we're transitioning from the from the start to the end of the expression where like one assumes keyframe and a key like it's a keyframe to keyframe thing where they don't quite get the line weights correct in between you wouldn't see that in has been hotel at least not like the the episodes after a24 um is is on the production um along with bento box um you wouldn't see that kind of that kind of line weight inconsistency there, I don't think. Um, nor would you see the little hair tuft do that little weird thing where it changes shape. Um, and that, that to me, is so new grounds. That's quite nice. Okay, right. Actually, watch the episode. This is okay. Take take your bets. Like down in the comments right now. Like pause this video. Um, down in the comments right now. Take your bets. 
Well, no, you can tell. You can tell how long, because you can just look at the video. I was about to tell you, like, take your bets on how long this reaction to the 11-minute animation is going to be. Um, but obviously, you can just see the length of the video. I didn't actually think about that. Um, but I'm going to take a bet. Let's say let's say 30 minutes. Let's say it takes me 30 minutes to get through this 11 minute video. Like I'm, I'm I think I'm going to be fast. I think I'm I think I'm going to I think I'm going to speed run this. I'm going to manage this 11 minute animation video in 30 minutes. Let's see. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Sorry, I'm pausing again because I... Oh, I love that. Like, that... Squash and stretch, like rubber arm smearing him in. Squash! Wait. Like a little squeaky toy. And then doing like almost Hanna-Barbera style limited animation on his head. Using the collar. And the little smear on the hands, like he lowers it down the bounce. <laughs> like the, the, <laughs> the size of the head as it moves around. Like, this is very much Simpsons character from the front kind of face, um, which is a thing. Like, these character designs, clearly, um, the, the way that they're stylized, the way that they're flattened, they're not really designed to be seen from the front. Um, because, like, the implication, like, for this character's face, for example, like, this right here is both their upper lip, right? But it also sort of serves as a beak slash nose shape for the character's face, um, when we get it there in 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 profile, right? Like it sort of, it sort of gives that little that little pointiness to the face that sort of adds the impression of a nose. Same thing with with uh, Mr. Bossman's thing over here. Like the upper lip sort of gives a little bit of that. When we turn him around here, you can see how all of a sudden, like the face proportions are a little bit more awkward because the face is not quite designed to be seen from the front. So we swap over very quickly to seeing it from the side, where we can get that like stylized, flattened. With like these really long, strong curves. Cause that's where he looks best from, right? Um, and that would be something that I would I would be looking out for <laughs> um, as the show goes on. Like it, it one thing I would be looking out for, like once it professionalizes, like once it becomes like whatever hell of a boss is now, um, I would be looking out for how they handle that level of stylization, like whether the character designs change to become more three-dimensional, um, or whether they stick with this very flattened, like this almost abstract, um, super flat style. Oh, hey, a little bit of a doubling on the eye, or they forgot to move the shape properly. I think it's just doubling. But I am I am enjoying the animation a lot here, actually. Like, look at that. Like the flourish as like he pulls the thing out of his out of his vest here. Or his jacket. The little the little swoop around there, like the distortion on it. Swooping it around to press the button there. I should probably listen to what the dialogue is, actually. I should probably turn on subtitles if nope, there are no good subtitles on that. Auto generated. That's garbage. Can't use that for shit. Um that's, okay, that would be my first, like, major criticism, is, like, you should really have subtitles on something like this. Because, um, like, that that's an accessibility feature that, that your audience deserves. Anyway. Moxie, now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? <laughs> <laughs> good times I <laughs> another another rather like again another thing that gives me new grounds feels luna right that's her name I, i've seen enough fan art around of her and like uh, what one of my friends um has a final fantasy 14 modded glam of her so i think it's luna right look at the proportionality like the way that they're placed in the room and in the space like like i guess she's probably big 
next to their characters, but like the the perspective, the proportionality. Look how flat this entire frame feels. Right, like how how it really doesn't feel like there's a lot of depth um, to it. It doesn't feel like there's that much room between like where this TV is and that that table is, and that like and yet the guy is like spending time here at the corner of the table, the thing that would wedge him the most against like. Again, very new grounds. Like that 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 has that again has very new grounds vibes to me. Um because it's a little bit amateurish, right? Like and I again I really when I say that I really don't mean that as as like a put down. Um because first of all the the background environment here is quite nicely rendered. Um but also it's charming. I like it. Like I I I think it's it has a nice vibe um that I enjoy. Let's get that shaking animation for a second there, because... Yeah, smear frames! Ah. Yeah, because that's... I mean, it's functional, but it is definitely lacking some brutality. There's a little bit of a coloration error there. Not that it matters, but... Like it feels feels like there's a little bit of a change in the expression that doesn't quite doesn't quite work. Yeah, like it it's, it feels a lot more like amateur animation. Um, <laughs> here we're doing like a real classic. This is like real sort of 1940s rubber hose shit. Um, well, not quite. It's more like maybe maybe sort of Looney Tunes e. But like the thing of like the gun shooting backwards and the character following with the little doubling of the the eyes. Yeah, there's some old school. And that certainly seems to be the vibe that, that this thing is going for. It's going for... Well, I mean, it probably is going for Newgrounds. Like, it probably is going for, like, this is Newgrounds, but, like, at a high level of quality, like, professional animators, or at least people who have professional animation training um, working on it, one assumes, because, like, this swing is not super strong, but the follow-through is pretty good. Because, like, that just kind of looks like... like horny bonk um, with the bonk bat and you can see how the arm sort of just sort of teleports from here on the shoulder to somewhere up on the neck as we transition into like the swing around like that hyper stylization ah oh, man okay I'm, I'm just having way too much fun looking Service at the animation here Good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week, one that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Ah, here we go. That's that's the awkward scripting. Um, this is this is um. Oh shit! Hang on, that's not supposed to be there. Boink, get that away. Um, that was my hot key activating that. Characters telling each other things that they both already know. Um, that, mm, that's a classic. That's, um, that is, that's what you would like, classify as bad exposition dumping, right? Like, this, like, we only have 11 minutes to work with, so presumably it was, like, the, the scripting process. They just were like, fuck it, let's just make it effective. Um, but, like, the joke here is, is, like... Good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. Right, like, and the, the fucking adjective, you blew most of our salaries with an ob obnoxious TV ad. Like, that obnoxious is, is real stilted and awkward. Um, and it's not, like, it's this is not what I would consider good dialogue writing. Because it's like, why are the characters telling each other things that they both already know? Like, well, because, ha ha ha, he's an incompetent asshole who's like... And there are better ways, like, I feel like that's already sort of delivered just from his acting and his animation. Kind of awkward to do that in the scripting. It's a nitpick, it doesn't matter that much, but... That's mm, that's just mm. I've done that in myself in my own writing before. Like I've I've had that thing of like I need to deliver this this exposition. I need to deliver this information to the to the audience. Uh, I don't want to say it in author voice. Like I, I can't do it in, in a voiceover or whatever. So like, we have to find an excuse for the characters to tell each other this thing uh, because that feels more immersive, right? Um, but sometimes like just an exposition dump 
like from a narrator is sometimes just the better choice. Um, this is something that um, Kaguya Sama Love is War is that what it's called? Um, that that anime understands that like the the power of the narrator voice sometimes one that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches uh hey excuse me what's obnoxious about a super fun jingle all right it's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit people love musicals sir exactly millie and we're basically doing a musical are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did Sir, because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... What? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, um... This is very jokes per minute, also. Um... Where, like, we sort of start out with this thing of, like, we're having a business meeting, we're trying to sort of figure out, and then, have you forgotten what service we pro provide here? No, they haven't. They work there. Why? Like, why does he need to show them the TV ad? Well, because the TV ad is, is again, exposition dumping to get the audience up to speed with what they do here, right? Um, and then... He's just sort of waffling around in a, in a, in a, in a sort of very classic internet funny man routine. Um... Like very, very sort of streamer consciousness, jumping from from one bit to another without really getting on with what the plot of the thing is. After I made you employee of the month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals and grenade Okay, I know that sound from TikTok. <laughs> um, and yeah, look, okay, so I, I'm seeing why people are like, "Hey, may, maybe skip the um, maybe maybe skip the pilot because everything that's happened in the pilot so far, like the first two minutes of it, if they just opened with a jingle that explains what the characters do and where they are, and then you zoom out and then you get into the business meeting, boy, that would have been a way more effective way to establish the premise." Cyanide will make it look like suicide. The because, like, now we've got two TV spots, right? Like, we have the TV spot that he showed them on the TV, uh, good times, and now we have also this TV spot, which is way better, <laughs> um, with the jingle on it, that establishes the premise much better than all this previous nonsense, uh, did. Yeah, well. Murder professionals, and grenade cyanide will make it look like suicide, the murder professionals, we do our job so well. We'll kill your husband or your wife. We'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything. Damn it! I'm not losing another one. Clear! Yeah, this is very Tom Ska. This is very Astiff movie. Um. Very hyperactive, like, really... In fact, even that fucking hairstyle looks like something from Ed's world. Um, really sort of all over the place. Because, like, we cut from business meeting where these idiots are sort of bouncing off each other to TV spot, to jingle with TV spot, like, to, to a bit about, like, him sort of emotionally shaming his employee, I guess. Um, to a really good TV jingle, like th that was actually a, quite an effective segment. Like, like that was very effective world building and setup. And then shoot a kid in the head, and now we're doing like a hospital gag because of because of why are we doing this? I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, but that, yeah, okay, like, okay. <laughs> Holy 
shit, it actually worked. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? Kids die for free! I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... the do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's also a bunch of... There's some inconsistency. Like, this is sort of the same thing I observed with, with the uh, Haspen Hotel pilot. Um, like, there's a real inconsistency between what these human characters look like, how they're designed, what their design aesthetic is, versus, well, how this scene looks, really. And this... TV jingle, like it has the filter over it, which doesn't help. The proportionality on the characters seems remarkably different here. Um and in many ways substantially better. Like I, I kinda like the way that they're animated in, in in the TV jingle here better. And then we get to the hospital bit and it's like, oh okay, now we're now we're doing sort of um clone high. I guess it's sort of like the visual reference I'd make there. Um And then we come back to here and like the the speech animation that's Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right Right, the, the lip syncing and the movement of the characters here is It has a different vibe, it has a different quality than it does here. And like I would imagine the reason for that, like I don't know what animation teams work like like is that I don't know what animation teams are working on it. I don't know if they maybe they made the thing like this is something like a lot of anima uh, amateur animation productions will do. They'll they'll make the th whole thing sequentially, right? So they'll animate the opening scenes first, and then they'll go bit by bit by bit. And like for those kinds of productions, you can often see like you can often literally just see how um like how the style of the thing changes um from start to finish because the animators sort of get better and more comfortable with the characters as they go they get more and more time and experience with it and they like because there hasn't been quite as much time spent on pre-production um and like storyboarding um so i would imagine it's because it's different animators at different points in time working on different segments that were made um for different purposes but okay Sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... the do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. We're up on up step. Go look! Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... oh. Then I don't want it! Ah! I'm sorry, the spiders! God damn it. Uh, excuse me. Did yeah, this is very, again, also like the cutaway gag thing that we... Oh, hey, Charlie! Um, the cutaway gag thing we're doing. Um, also, again, like, it's very... It's not really Family Guy. Like, Family Guy's cutaway gags don't work that way, but it ha it has that vibe of, like, the... Whoever was doing the script was sort of just following, like, whatever bit is funny right now. Um... Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the buggy avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> that, okay, that was, uh, that was a way to do that. So we had this in the, um... <laughs> oh boy, we had a shot like this in the... <laughs> in the Hasbin Hotel pilot as well. Um, with the limousine coming up to the, to the building. 
where yeah no like these characters were clearly not animated to fit on this particular background like it, this feels a lot like an animator was told like give us a shot of like luna running out of a building towards the foreground and then she kicks a baby but then it's like once time came to do the compositing and trying to make those things fit together <laughs> Oh, that's, yeah. I mean, this is a thing of, like, they they try to animate a relatively ambitious shot um, of a character, like, running running into camera with, like, some, like, foreshortening and perspective going on. Um, and then they really didn't have the backgrounds or the means to composite it. Um, properly because like that this background should not have been used for that animation at all like this 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 animation needed a very different background um in, in order to work instead it looks like we're going through the stages of uh, mac uh, micro fetish and then macro fetish as she grows to more or less the size of a building but that's okay because that mom is also the size of a building um and luna is standing in the middle of the road <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah like uh, i mean it's and it's that thing of like it's not really badly animated as such like this is this is like a perfectly reasonable shot of a character like running into frame but the compositing of how it's put together is uh oh boy <laughs> that's and that's a that's a production thing right like that's not really the animator's fault that's that's production that doesn't didn't coordinate properly to have the assets that were needed in order to achieve a certain shot that happens sometimes especially in amateur productions but oh my <laughs> also this bit goes on for way too long like like luna is awful you need maybe two or three bits for that like like you need like she picks up the phone puts it down she throws away the present um th like that would be enough like to sort of establish like that's again the thing about cutaway gags which is one thing i will say for family guy is that family guy over the many many years it's been running has a really sharp sense of timing for how long should a cutaway gag go without like breaking the flow of 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 like of like the thing it's cutting away from um this morning and this bit ass. is too long isn't that my lunch you know what i can't take this assault right now i need to blow off some fucking steam ah! <laughs> that's still Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone says it's urgent wants to talk to you he sounds a little dtf -y. oh god it was one time if i hadn't slept with that privileged asshole none of us would have access to the living world you what what in the hell like boy yeah no that mm. <laughs> is that uh, is that is that stolas i think i've seen th this guy guy them i've seen them around um in fan art as well so now we're doing cutaway gag inside of the cutaway gag oh lord Buck, got the buck. Got this fucking heavy buck. Ugh. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Again, I'm. Is is he that tiny compared to them, or is this just a, another compositing thing? But these characters definitely have more of the has been hotel vibe. Um, about them, I feel, for some reason. Yeah, I guess it's probably the wing thing. They sort of remind me of the angels from that show. Ah, here's a classic. You know how in old cartoons you can tell which bits of, of like, the scenery is actually going to move based on how it's rendered? Yeah. The cake there. <laughs> It's sort of, this is background painting. Oops, now it needs to be animated. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Let's... I heard you already. No, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Oh, that's an accent. Okay. 
doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. Okay, well, oh, yeah, I like his animation. Sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red of yours. Your sad and lick all of your before taking out your and with more teeth until you're screaming like a fucking baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a little excessive. And that's also very Newgrounds gag. Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let me- mm, Okay, yeah, right, um... Uh... That's mm, fair enough. Like, if the character is a shithead, um, fair enough. But let's, like, maybe not with the meth-addicted homeless woman. Like, mm, is that, is that, is that a, like, that's a little, little punching downy. And the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Right, again, it's okay if the character is an asshole, right? Like, and if they're saying that because they're an asshole, it's less if, like, ha-ha, homeless people. Uh, that's, you know, that's less funny. While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What?! Honey, can you give me the butter? Oh, more cutaway gags. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? Why is he in their fridge? What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. Yeah, this is very. I can see it. Like, I, I get it. I get why. I get why people were not, were like sort of recommending me avoid it, because this is like. I don't think it's bad. Right, like in the sense of, because I am entertained. I have been entertained the whole time I've been watching this. Um. And I've been entertained more or less for the reasons that the show wants me to be entertained. But also, I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> right? Like, there's, there isn't really a story here. There isn't really a narrative. There isn't really any kind of a through line or any thematic idea being expressed. This is a series of bits. Right? Like, this is a series of, of, of like, cutaway gags, very loosely strung together... And then not strung together at all, uh, <laughs> just sort of, just sort of flashing in and out, in and out of each other. It's very, yeah. It's definitely like, yeah. I get why people said don't, maybe, maybe don't watch the pilot, um, because like all what the pilot seems to be interested in doing, like the main thing that the pilot cares about, it doesn't really care about a plot. So far, like unless it's about to find one in the last four minutes, um, it doesn't seem to care about a plot. It's not interested in having a plot. It's not interested in telling a story. What it wants is a series of character dynamics, right? Like what it wants to do is a series of bits um, of these fucked up weirdos bouncing off of each other and like delivering, you know, X number of jokes per minute um, at a very high pace. Like that's 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 sort of where it is. And that's like... Yeah, like that 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 feels very much like um the kind of comedy that I would write when I was 16 um with my unmedicated ADHD adult brain uh sort of jumping from oh this thing this thing that thing that thing and then not really thinking about you know connective tissue or like how do we string all of these gags together into something that's coherent it's just like no here's a here's a bunch of funny gags and the thing that we care about is the character dynamic is like is like Having Mr. This guy is the straight man. What was it, Moxie? And then she's the girl 
who is sort of indulgent and sort of apparently finds their boss charming for some reason. Uh, and the boss is just a weirdo. It's like, I, that's that's one criticism I'll give is like, for all that this is interested in character dynamics, I have no fucking idea what the personality of the boss is. Um, because most of the time he's the the like the eccentric weirdo that our straight man here is bouncing off of. But then, like, he has this this one interaction with Stolas, and then clearly it's Stolas who's the weirdo, and now he's acting the straight man, right? Like, he's he's doing the straight man thing of, like, oh, this character says something that's ridiculous and absurd, and then this character reacts with, like, let's try not to think about that, let's never have this enter my head again. Like, he's acting as the straight man to Stolas, um in that instance, but then now he's the crazy cartoon weirdo man who, like, sits on his employee's chest at night. Um, what's like, what What the fuck is his personality? Who is he supposed to be? <laughs> like, how am I supposed to understand this character? Is he, like, an asshole boss? Is he a complete psychotic, like, is he a complete, like, f- weirdo freak show? Like, is he a, a silly comedy cartoon goon guy who just does weird silly bits all the time? It's not really clear to me. Um, so that's another, that's a criticism I would have is like, if you're going to do this, this like series of disconnected character bits, I need, it would be nice if the character was clear. Like if, if there was actually a consistent character to the, to the boss who seems to be the source of most of the comedy. What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered, but now... I'd like to go back to that. Of all the ifs in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, man. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Okay, now we're back in the meeting. (laughs) Now we're back. I didn't realize we were back in the meeting before we did the cutaway gag to him finding them outside of work. But I guess we were back in the in the meeting where we... Oh, right, no, because we went back and then here he was. So this, this is the thing that follows on immediately from... Well, we have a cutaway gag here. So that's three minutes almost, like two minutes and 20 seconds of cutaway gags before we make it back to like our main scenario. And then we immediately do another cutaway gag that lasts like a minute. <laughs> a minute and 10 seconds. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, no, pacing. Pacing is... <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. There, there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Right, okay, yeah, no, that, mm mm-hmm. Again, it's okay if the character is an asshole. Like, if the character is someone who is a piece of shit who uses slurs. Uh, Less okay if the slur is supposed to be funny, though. That's a little... Maybe maybe that's... Okay, yeah. That's not super cool. Um, Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah. Comedy ages poorly, but it's only four years ago, geez. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. And then the kid is still here. Kid, you're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown, and I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. 
Even the creepy ones. Hey, now, that's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit that's my husband you're talking to <laughs> oh now now she has a southern accent okay <laughs> that's your husband i figured you for a slut but i didn't know you needed dick that bad and you what what about me nothing i don't talk to dogs i'm a cat person Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, uh, Captain Ruth. I... He is good. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a God. And that's you know, the punchline. Okay. This company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. You know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please! If anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and oh! You're welcome! Oh, what a thrill when the crimson... Oh, yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it, I get why, I get why they... Jeez, that was all over the place. <laughs> Holy shit. Starts to spill. And my Millie goes in for the kill. She takes away my breath. She's the angel of death for me. Oh, Millie. She's my queen. It's like a dream. When I hear And I guess her this song is like. In and out of the sack. She's the At some point, it was supposed to. Me. I really like the line work oh, on the on the sort of uh, when the blood starts on the storyboard there. Um, I guess at one point this was probably supposed to be part of the episode, and then they cut it for time or something. I don't know. The walls, and the bodies start to fall. My heart skips a beat when my Millie's guns are blazing in the heat. My assassin love, she makes the murder in fun for me. A la da dee, of all the imps in hell, it's for her that I fell, oh Millie. Boy, yeah, this this is definitely very all over the place. Animation style is very over, all over the place. The vocal performances are a little bit all over the place. Absolutely no plot <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> um, and I really so the the thing that the it it it's trying to do with the structure right is we have all of this buildup of these dysfunctional dipshits sort of bouncing off of each other, being completely incapable of doing anything or getting anywhere with anything, right? Um, and then by the end of it, like it. The kid is so fed up with all their cutaway gags, I guess, um, that he's sort of he sort of becomes the one who speaks plainly that which was implied, right? Like that that this guy's a clown, this guy's a neurotic, spineless wreck. This girl is, um, and she's an asshole or whatever. Um, like he's he's sort of the one who articulates like the the takeaway, right? He drops the Aesop essentially. He sort of drops the the point, the morality. Um, not the moral of the story exactly, but he sort of, he sort of summar he delivers the summary of what we're supposed to take away from the episode, which is an introduction to these characters' character dynamic. Except then the writers sort of just can't help themselves from well now we're sort of making the kid part of this as well. Now the kid is also like doing insult comedy bits at the characters um, for whatever reason. <laughs> um... I guess to sort of narratively justify that they murder him at the end, but it's a little like a little late for that because he's already been killed. So I don't know. Um, I quite liked Luna's speech animation. Child. Yeah. That's what. Like this. 
the lip syncing and the way they use like the the muscle. I quite like that. Um, but no, yeah, all over the fucking place. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely incoherent. <laughs> um, but charming. Like in a charm, again, new grounds, right? Like this is very, very sort of edgelord comedy new grounds animation, right? It's, it's less concerned with presenting anything particularly coherent than it is with simply delivering um, a couple of dozen gags and sort of bouncing these characters off one another. Which, you know, fair enough. Jingles. I do want to rewatch that jingle, do not, though. Do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here. Oh, hey, After Katie Killjoy's in the background over there. Didn't realize. State of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do and there really is, like, so, so there really is a lot of Tom Ska. There really is a lot of Tom Ska's style in here. Like, among many other things. Like, there's a lot of Invader Zim in here. A hell of a lot of Invader Zim. Um, but in terms of, like, as as sort of an adaptation of, like, of like this comedy style to, like, a web format, this has a lot of, of Tom Ska um, DNA in it. Along with, like, obviously also, like, like all the other uh, Newgrounds comedy guys. Um, which, speaking of which... Oh yeah, there's some cameos in the background here. I am not 100% on who all of these people are, but these designs are way too specific to not be cameos of something or other. Maybe there's staff, I guess, on the thing? I don't know. Um, if someone knows who the cameos of these people are, let me know. We'll kill your husband or your wife. We'll even let you keep the knife with the immediate murder profession. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, again, like, this is... Because, like, the thing about it, each individual bit, like, even each individual comedy bit, each individual character bit, has, like... has some strength to it, right? Like, each individual bit sort of works well enough as a self-contained part. It's just trying to string them all together. Not what? so much. Got the buck, got the buck. Got this fucking heavy buck. Ugh. Oh, oh. <laughs> when you exit a building normally, zoop, just kind of slides into position. Ugh. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Lit! I like her expression. Like, whoever is animating Luna here has, like, a real good sense of this kind of, like, furry character character animation. Um, like, there's a real... Here, like, that's the thing we were talking about previously, like, the way, like, some of these designs are very heavily stylized and they kind of only really work in a three-quarters view or from the side. Um, Luna, though, like, when she gets to get her expression on, there's someone there who's, like, maybe they're furry, like, maybe they're just, like, used to drawing furry art, but, like, someone who knows how to, like, really make, like, a dog muzzle um, emote and have a lot of expression on it. And that's really well done. Like, there's a lot of real good animation bits in here. 
there's a lot of, of genuine, genuine high skill on display. Like the conversation with Stolas here. For this time, Stolas, there's a political candidate causing. Right, like the little gestures of like the tappity tap of the fingers and the little wiggle wiggle of the leg. Trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists, doesn't it? Well, yes, but. Like this is real good. Like with like he tilts his head over to the side, and. The little tail flick there as like a gesture of him sort of being pleased with himself. And that, that little hand gesture is like he, he, like he leans to the left or our left and then he leans to our right. And then like that little, that little swoop of the hands there. That is real fucking good. Like, that's so expressive, right? Because, like, the vibe I'm getting from this guy immediately, especially since he has a fucking portrait of himself on his wall, is that he's your sort of classic self-obsessed sort of uh, foppish dandy sort. Like, sort of very pleased with himself, sort of very, ah, oh, yes, I very much enjoy being me. Yes. Oh. <laughs> right? Like, he's hedonistic, sort of self-obsessed. He, like, pleasure pleasure seeker kind of guy that little gesture right there like that too like imagine the opposite right like imagine if his body language was all straight direct like very little curvature very little sort of swooping just like straight direct precise movements like that would give you a very different impression of his character like so this is very good like this is good character animation this is delivering a sense of who this person is like how he moves like as he starts to get horny or whatever, the way that he sort of leans in and cradles the phone, he wiggles his toes. The little tail swoop as, like, he leans back. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. Your yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of really solid individual bits. There's a there's like a lot of individual parts of this that are just really really strong. Like I whatever what the fuck is her name? Girl imp, wife imp. I quite like her design. I like the way, especially her mouth is rendered. I think there was a dialogue scene with her here later somewhere. Yeah, here. Baby wiener have her. Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. <laughs> like there, like that little shh. <laughs> You're there. Look, I there's, there's, like, there's many, many good bits. There's a lot of genuine high-quality work at play. It's just... Everything that's supposed to connect it together is... <laughs> is very out of whack. Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert! The butter's spoiled! <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? Good question. Why is he in your fridge? Why does it matter? Why does that? Why does? Why is that gag there? Well, because it's a gag, and we put it there. Oh boy. Yeah. No. Ah, fuck. This video is an hour long. No. Fuck. No. I'm stopping this before an hour. Uh, gonna watch episode one at some point later. Now, but. Oh, good God. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's just... It's just not very well put together as a series of things. Anyway, bye.